Yo, what's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. Okay, this is a little bit old of a video, but I saw people commenting saying Georgie and Michael fight. I don't think they fist fight. I think it's just an argument. If you don't know who Michael is, uh, he appeared in yesterday's video looking like the human version of a paintbrush. I fucking hate this guy. I don't think he deserves the gift of life. You'll see why. That's just an assumption, though, because I don't watch these before I talk shit about them, obviously. This is how TLC tries to get you to watch their hour-long TV show called Darcy and Stacy. Only thing I'm trying to watch is Darcy's OnlyFans. Someone's buying the OnlyFans for me, so I'm going to make a video about it. I guarantee it. It's going to be so hard. Before we hop into this, uh, I'm on Georgie's side. Fuck Michael. I, I hate him so much. He has this blue hair that just goes up. It's heinous. I'm just jealous. <laughs> I'm bald. Also, I have a Patreon. Patreon.com slash WineboxPoppy. That's the best way to directly support because YouTube demonetizes every single video. It's because YouTube fucking hates swears, dude. That's why, like, most YouTubers mute and bleep out swears. When I hear a bleep noise, I genuinely get so pissed off. Uh, I know what you're saying. I also would never censor myself for money. That does go against everything I believe in. It just doesn't make sense to me. What is the swears not for kids? The videos are marked not for children. And there's a kid's YouTube app. What's going on here? Like, are adults that pussy nowadays? So if I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel and fight back against YouTube's cute little swear policy, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. But let's see if I'm worth it. You know, you got to remember, you know, you, you're with goddesses. Wow, five seconds in and there's a lot to unpack already. First of all, everything you say doesn't matter because you look like this. They're goddesses? Just throwing that word around? You could be your friend's hype man, but they're not that great. I mean, how could they be if they're friends with you? What is going on here? Is this even hair? Also, what kind of necklace is that? I just want to fucking pull him in and kiss him. I mean, fight him. Like, that chain looks like somebody who's going to a middle school dance, so it glows in the dark. Get some real fake jewelry like a real man. Can I get your attention too, sir? Yeah. I also would have ignored him. In my head, I'd be like, he better not be talking to me like that. I'm busy, busy, cooking food for everybody. If you just come and give me orders, sit down, let me need to talk, and he's saying I'm in the grill. Just chill. Hey, Michael, these guys could fuck you up. This guy looks like a foreign Qui-Gon Jinn. Why you talk? Why you talk while I cook? Just chill. I'll make you go sleep. Like, I have things to do. I'll sit whenever I want to sit. Dude, let me ask something. Do you ever make a grill ever? H have you ever made a grill? Like, we know what he's saying, but it's kind of funny to be confrontational and not know the language. Have you ever put together an entire grill without the instructions? Also, look at this guy's face. He's like, wow, this guy's a lot of muscle mass. In your life, you did you cook? Do I cook for, yeah. for goddesses? Yes, I've done that before. No, I'm asking you, you just to come sit cook? down with us. Yeah, I'm getting angry. Have I ever cooked for goddesses? Yes. Shut the fuck up. First of all, you haven't, okay? So you only cook for Darcy and Stacy? That was such a weird fucking answer. I think he should be publicly hung from that necklace. Just, That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm turning it down. That's what I'm saying. You cook, gonna, you cannot sit down and chill. You need to cook. I can know, understand that you're uncomfortable the, right now. I get it. I'm just looking out for my sis. Holy shit, what a projection. I know you're uncomfortable right now. He actually seems pretty fucking calm. <laughs> like he has this thing entirely under control. This dude is so unself aware. Like Georgie looks like a man. Michael looks like he's transitioning in both directions. You know, Georgie, he's, he's a pretty tough dude. You can't crack his wall and I get that, but I feel like he needs to let his guard down a little bit. I've known the girls for years. This is family. These girls deserve the best and I'm just here to, to make sure that's what they're getting. Who the fuck are you? You've known them for a couple years, so you know what's best for them? Do you not know what the consensus is on these women? Everybody fucking hates them. I'm here to make sure they get what's best for them. Yeah, you're not going to move the needle at all. Honestly, now the guys are just going to take out how you act on their wives. Sir. No, Florin. No, please, don't tell me, sir. Florin. I'm no sir. I'm like normal guy. Florin. Like, Florin, right? Florian, yeah. Florian. Yeah. Fucking getting his name wrong, dude. 
You've known these bitches for years, and you're having a confrontational conversation with this guy, and you don't even know the man's name? I'm trying to decipher if he did that on purpose or if he's actually a fucking idiot. Okay, what's Dave. my name? Mike. Okay. No, Michael, not Mike. Mike, Michael, Michael. Same thing. No, it's not the same thing. Where has this guy lived his entire life? Because to me, in most places in America, somebody's going to smack the fuck out of you. Like, just imagine you're in Chicago trying to have a conversation with a dude. It's getting a little aggressive. He calls you Mike and you go, no, it's Michael. You're going to get hit. Mike, Michael, same thing. No, it isn't. Dude, watch the tone, homie. There's two of them. Of course, this guy's been coddled his entire life. That's why he needs this look to add some adversity to his life. Like, this confrontational confidence he has is from someone who's never been punched in the face. I'm not here in board control to check okay. your name and last name. Bro, just uh. just respect my name. I like oh, Michael. Oh, oh, oh. If I said my name's Mike, it would be Mike. Stacey Dorsey like me to be friends with him, and I know, like, his personality. I'm not going to be friends. Straight to the fucking point, dude. Yet, they still bring Michael around. Our significant others both hate him, but he's our friend, so let's just ruin every night. Hey, let's start over again. Let's start over again. My name's Michael. Your name is Florian. This dude is so disrespectful, it's insane. Oh, is that how you start conversations usually? Hey, my name's Michael, yours is Florian, all right? We're starting off normally now. I'm not angry. Fucking clapping your hands like he's a dog. Yeah, sit down. Good boy. Like, Florian is so calm during this situation that it's actually frightening. He's not letting this bother him at all. He's like, I could kill you. No problem. Make it look like accident. All right. So I know Stacy said everything's all good and they're happy, everything's fine, but Florian's subtle, he's more chill. I don't know, man. I need to make sure these dudes are legit. You need to make sure these dudes are legit? Yeah, you're going to check these guys? Yeah, it's going pretty well. You're talking the most, yet you have no control over this conversation. It's actually kind of sad to see. Like, why are you doing this for these women? Do you not have faith in these women to pick good guys? I mean, I don't have faith in them for that. But can they not stick up for themselves? I mean, they can't, but you're doing a pretty bad job of it, too. These are like my, like, yeah, like sisters, family, like whatever you want to call it, you know? This, yeah, is, this, is, this is how I, they see things. Mm -hmm. I get it. You're married to Stacy. I love that. You know, with the amount of times he said that they're family, it kind of makes me feel like their friendship is pretty fragile. Like, they would just drop this clown in a second. Why would Stacy not pick her husband over this guy, even if she's known him longer? She's legally tied to one of them. You have to treat her as if there's no other woman in the world, okay? I let me talk. I let you, you... I'm not done yet. Jesus, Michael, who hurt you? He's given off the vibe like a girl left him because he didn't stand up for her once, so now he's just overdoing it with everybody. So this is what I know. Mm. I know that if any time in life she calls me and says something like X, Y, Z or something happened. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck are you going to do about it, huh? I'll be the guy you have to deal with as the big bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jordy's just like, let me get into a power position really quick. Make sure that he knows there's four eyes on him right now. Keep talking, buddy. We appreciate Michael taking a stand for us and having our back. We understand he's coming from a good place, but it's coming in too hot and too heavy and too quick. And too quick. They're not even agreeing with his behavior, and he's standing up for them. You know, it would have been great if you guys said that in the moment. Hey, Michael, can you calm down a little bit before they beat the fuck out of you? This guy's never been in a real confrontation. These guys are just counting how many times you piss them off so they know how many times they should stab you. It's uncomfortable because it's putting us in an awkward position with our guys. Wow, I'm fucking glad that's over. I hate those women. It's putting you in an awkward position with the men you're trying to be with for the rest of your life. We know her and Georgie don't work out because it's Darcy. Nobody in their family has had a successful marriage. Who should we pick? The guy who's standing up for us and doing way too much? Or the guy I'm already married to who's being very calm during this confrontation? It's actually pretty impressive how calm Florian was. Because I wouldn't have been that calm. I'd have been like, hey, do you know you're a bitch? You know that, right? Like, I'm looking at three women right now. The only thing that's more pussy than you is yours. I bet you Michael was a tad bit disappointed that there really wasn't that much of a reaction. 
like just handled perfectly. And then Darcy and Stacy not saying anything. Like they're just watching a movie. Like none of this is their fault at all. Oh, it's awkward. Maybe break the tension a little bit. Maybe tell them to dial it back a tad. Because those guys work out and Michael gets worked out by guys. Guys, I'm saying Michael's gay. He gets fucked by men. I had to look at this episode. It's about a year old, but I saw people commenting saying they got into a little kerfuffle. So I had to check it out. And I'm glad I saw the one I did yesterday before this one because I hated him so much before this already. And now I want to fight in their honor. It's like he was picked perfectly for this show. Almost kind of like they hired him, you know? He's kind of too perfect for reality television. I could see it. I could see it. It's not like Darcy and Stacy are good at making friends. But what do I know? They just have a TV show they have to run. That was a pretty good clip, though. I'm not going to lie. I would pay good money to see him get sucker punched. Where's Pedro when you need him? What'd you say? Yo, if that dude was talking like that to Pedro, holy shit. This clip would have been half as long. All right, just let me know what you guys think down below. Is Michael a bitch? Yes or definitely. But you're not. Thank you so much for watching and listening everywhere, guys. I appreciate you so much. Did you know I do stand-up comedy and post every single set on my second channel, youtube.com slash Markarski? I also have a gig coming up. If you want to see me in the Chicagoland area, I'll be at the Red Room March 17th on St. Patrick's Day. And me and my homies run a mic called Jerks to Josephine, so we're like the jerks. And all five of us are going to be on this show. It's going to be fucking awesome. I think tickets are $15 online, 20 at the door. If I don't link it, search for the Red Room on Eventbrite. But if you're not in the Chicagoland area or you can't make it, I plan on going everywhere and doing way more gigs. Like, I want to meet every single one of you. I want to go literally everywhere. Because why not? Pretty bored of Illinois, you know? So on the second channel, I actually document my entire stand-up career. So it's called The Comedian. And in this series, I vlog in the car talking about the set I'm about to do. Then I show the entire set. Then I podcast breaking down how the set went. And like how I kind of like work on jokes and what I'm going to say the next time. I don't think anybody's ever documented an entire stand-up career before. And I think people might be interested like what goes on behind the scenes of stand-up comedy. Like you get to see open mic one to now getting booked gigs and shit like that. So seeing the evolution is pretty cool. I think 10 years from now, I'm going to look back and be like, that was such a good idea. So if you want to see some shit like that, youtube.com slash Markarski. But if you can or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I fucking love you guys. Mwah.